a bit of a cat fight on Fox News' The Five last night between uh, Greg Gutfeld and Eric Bowling. Now, they were uh, talking about Trump's rhetoric, especially during the debate that Donald Trump had watched. Hillary Clinton went missing for, you know, a few minutes after the break. Well, it turns out she had a bathroom break. Well, Donald Trump, in a recent rally in Michigan, railed against that, calling it disgusting. And then, of course, there was the schlong comment. We covered that yesterday. Now, I want to go to a segment where uh, Eric Bowling and Greg Gutfeld started to get a little nasty about this. Watch. Oh, I see what you did there. What? Donald Trump's the bully. Uh, what? Explain this to me. That, that Hillary thinks Donald's the bully there, so she says, you know, we can't be bullying everybody. What do you, th what do you make of that? Well, not much. Not much? You don't, you don't? No, I'm just interested in what... I need somebody to, uh, to Trump-splain this because I don't understand it. So can you explain to me what he meant? Yeah, no, I can't. When he, when, when he, when he, when he was talking about the bathroom, think, what did he mean? But I think what happens <laughs> is <laughs> when Hillary makes something up, as egregious mm -hmm. as Donald Trump has now become the recruiting, uh, ISIS's recruiting tool, out of thin air she made it up. Right. What he does is he responds like he does with everyone else. He goes back at whoever the attacker is, and he punches back. Okay, so, so for a second here, let's, let's talk about that for a second. Now... Eric Bowling says, well, well, she lied. She made it up out of thin air. Not quite. I mean, look, that statement was certainly misleading, right? There's no videos out there of Donald Trump. ISIS isn't showing videos of Trump to try to recruit. No, that's, that's actually not what's happening. However, there is a little bit of truth in the point of that. Donald Trump certainly could be used as a recruiting tool, not because of the videos, but because of the kind of rhetoric and I think that's sort of the point that she was going to, even though that she was wrong on the video thing, right? That rhetoric used by Trump, and of course many in the right wing, could certainly be used to convince Muslims that America is at war with Islam. We're not at war with Islam. We're at war with ISIS and terrorism. So, no, we're not at war with Islam. But certainly they could use Trump's rhetoric and his plan to, you know, brand all the Muslims with like a special symbol or a special database or, you know, keeping all Muslims, Muslim refugees, not, not just all refugees, but pretty much all Muslims out of the country. Well, that could certainly be used as an example of, hey, America hates you. They don't even want you coming there anymore. Join us. What choice do you have? It's, they're, they're against Islam. So look, there's a discussion to be had in that. And, and uh, <clears throat> on the effectiveness of that rhetoric. But anyway, Trump uses that language to apparently punch back against Hillary Clinton's complete falsehood, according to Bolding. However, Gutfeld's not exactly buying that. L l let's watch. I just, I, just, I just wanted to hear you defend this, because I've heard people defend him about making fun of a disability, making fun of John McCain, uh, making fun of women, a woman's face. I just wanted to hear somebody defend this as well, because it just never ends. You, no one will ever stop defending the crass stuff he says. By the way, I haven't used that word since I was seven years old. I don't understand this. And also, the, I don't understand the comment about the bathroom. And I'm sick of hearing people defend this stuff. By the way, we're not even even allowed to use the word that he said, but somehow we're going to have him on our network all the time. Meanwhile, we treat our employees far differently than that. Oh, damn. Getting a little feisty in there, but see, he points out some really good points. Hey, here am I, here I am, right? <laughs> Agreeing with Greg Gutfeld. Who would have thought, right? That's like twice this year. That's a fucking record. Anyway, he points out a really good point about the sycophancy of Trump supporters. And no matter what Trump says or does, even when it's contradictory, they still defend him. Oh, Mr. Trump. I Yes, you keep saying exactly what I'm thinking, even when you're not exactly, even when you come out later and say, oh, that's not what I was saying at all. No, that was absolutely what you were saying. For example, you know, yeah, it's totally disgusting when women go and use the bathroom. Disgusting, disgusting. Yes, Mr. Trump, she got schlonged by Obama. Schlonged, I tell you, schlonged. It, it's amazing. But they love him because, well, that's apparently not being PC. You're just not PC. Okay, well. So here's Gutfeld making a pretty good argument and uh, pointing out how people 
just love to defend him on the shitty things he says, not because they're defending the things he says, because they're defending him, because they're absolutely enthralled by this guy. He, remember, he is the id of the Republican Party. It doesn't matter what he says. It doesn't matter what the facts are. They're going to side with Trump every time. He's like a cult leader at this point. But anyway, there's one more exchange uh, between Bowling and Gutfeld that I absolutely love. It, watch this. this. This is great. Look, Greg doesn't like the fact that it happened uh, the way it went down. But it, it was. No, I don't have. No, no, no. Oh, don't, no, no, no. no, no. no I don't have a problem with what he says. No, I don't have a problem with what he says, Eric. That, I have that, a problem that, with people here defending it. Greg, that's no my one's problem. Defending Donald Trump. No, what, I'm no, saying he was responding to her you making up a blatant lie. You Trump explain. I'm not Trump explaining anything. I, here's what happened. I asked he, you what he meant. He was at a campaign rally saying she made something up. She lied about it, and then he went and pointed out the fact that she was coming back late. That's Trump uh, or you didn't it's, it's reporting. That phrase yet? I am. Either that, Greg, it's or it's huge. reporting what happened. That's Don't all. Ban that. That's one of the reporting. Sorry, reporting what happened. That's comment. Trump swing. Fine. Whatever. Ooh. Fine. Whatever, man. Yeah, that's passive aggressive for saying fuck you. It's essentially whenever I hear the word whatever, man. Yeah, that's that that's that's you saying this. Pretty much. And look, I've said it before. If you want to point out how somebody's statements are misleading, that's fine. I pointed out how Hillary Clinton's statement was wrong and misleading. However, I pointed out some nuance in that argument as well. See, see, there's, there's nuance here. It exists. Anyway, that's also called using facts and logic. But anyway, Trump, however, Trump's out there calling a bathroom break disgusting if a woman does it. And then use the term schlonged. Schlonged. Okay, great. Now, None of those things have anything to do with her statement on ISIS about Trump. All it is is inflammatory rhetoric against women. Oh, you she's a woman and she got fucked in a way. And that's essentially what she's saying. Or he's saying. That's essentially what he said in his speech. <laughs> and you're gonna go out and defend that. Oh yeah, okay, Eric. Right. So here's the thing with Trump. He says inflammatory things. We all know this, right? We've been covering this for a while. Nothing but inflammatory stuff, one thing after another. There's no, there's no limit. But then when he gets called out, he does a couple of things. He either blames the media for taking him out of context, which is hilarious because everything is caught on video. We know exactly what you said. Or he says, oh, I didn't mean that. No, no, it's you guys. You guys are the crass ones. Because you were thinking, you were, you know, I wasn't saying what you thought I was saying, even though I said it. That's ridiculous, dude. Ridiculous. You, you can't defend that. I mean, I guess you could. You could defend that. But you're not. You're Trump explaining your way out of it. Well, if you're such an anti-PC crusader... Why don't you actually stand up and say, no, that's exactly what I meant. I meant she got fucked in 08 by Obama. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? That's the Trump I would like to see. Now, I still don't agree with him, but it actually would mean him having the balls to, to come up and say, no, I actually meant that she was on her period, uh, referring to Megyn Kelly. You want to be crass? Actually be crass. Don't sit there and blame the media for knowing what a schlong is. Or saying... Oh, you turned the word schlong into a verb that meant fucked. Okay, if that's what you meant, fucking say it. Fucking say it. Don't sit there and go, you guys were, you, you misheard me. That's actually not what I meant. I meant beat up. No, you meant fucked. Admit it. Admit it. Because when you go and attack the media for actually saying, no, this is, this is what you were saying. This is what you meant. We know what you meant. You can't hide from that. But when you attack the media for pointing that out and then say, no, that's actually not what I meant, well, you make yourself out to be a bigger schlaw, a much bigger schlaw. And that's sort of the problem. If you're going to make a statement, fucking own it.